Hello everyone and welcome back to my daily report market analysis videos with me Richard Perry market analyst at Hantech on Tuesday the 3rd of December. Looking at Euro dollar which has had a strong bull candle um, yesterday the biggest upside move since this session here uh, on the 17th of September um, and it has certainly bolstered the support that we've seen around this 102 basically 110 big figure but I suppose 10990 area 110 big figure we had the spike low of 10980 um, on Friday but uh, it certainly looks as though that this move has neutralized the outlook again um, now 11075 to 111 big figure it's been a long-term pivot actually um, if you go on this and it's been sort of over much of this year actually um, we've seen that that is a pivot area that was old support around 11 figure and then turning points frequently around in that sort of 25 pip band. So it certainly is a, an area that we need to take note of. Um, and the, re, um, the rebound that we saw yesterday now pretty much just neutralizes the outlook again. Um, you're back around um, sort of the midpoints on these momentum indicators. Yeah, the stochastics have started to sort of pick up, but the RSI sort of mid 50s area uh, and again whilst trading in that sort of 25 pip band I think you need to be fairly neutral trading above 11 big figure on a closing basis you then open 1180 um, but a failure of this rally back below 1075 you then reopen 10 figure again so it's fairly much in the balance um, with regards to the immediate um, near-term outlook um, that rally sharp rally on the ISM non uh, the ISM manufacturing disappointment yesterday really did um, see the market moving out of the dollar but that move has since basically just been consolidating really since that initial move to the upside it's basically been consolidating in a sort of small uh, sort of 30 pip band of trading nothing really decisive in terms of direction there uh, in the past 12 or so hours so we are um, looking at uh, sort of fairly much of a neutral outlook on euro dollar but moving above 111 big figure will give it direction once more but then that key overhead resistance of 1180 starts to come back in and that would be the next test but you could argue there is a near-term bias on the positive side certainly given that the momentum indicators have picked up but whether they now move into a more strengthening position or the, it's just basically just an unwinding move from the previously sort of mildly corrective outlook that we saw with the market trading below 1075 towards 10 big figure but uh, it's basically is a more of a neutral outlook now on euro dollar so i wish you good luck in your trading today click here to subscribe to our analysis videos and go to our website to sign up for our webinars